welcome back to the vlogs. We're starting today's vlog in the car. If you're new around here, my name is Jordan. I live in Los Angeles. I'm a new mom. My four month old baby girl is at home with my husband right now because I'm trying to get better about taking time for myself and I'm meeting a friend for coffee right now. I'm very excited. It is Friday, August 2nd. I am sweating. It is definitely summer here. I don't know where time is going, but I do love the month of August because it feels like summer here in LA. Ooh, it's hot, but I love it and I'm very happy it is the weekend because I am an entrepreneur and I did start working part-time again and it feels nice to have like some separation in my schedule so that weekends actually feel a little bit like weekends again. So in any case, I feel a little bit more energized today too. We have been in the midst of the four month sleep regression for five weeks now and I do, I say this every vlog, but I feel like we are making progress and Violet is improving and I'm so proud of her. So that's that. We're gonna go get coffee at my favorite coffee shop called Eyes Peeled in the Culver City area. And then I think I'm gonna get bagels because my hairdresser told me that the best bagel place is literally right next to this coffee shop and I've never been and I live for bagel as a New Yorker at heart forever. I'm gonna do that. We have some fun things lined up for the weekend. We're gonna make pizza tonight at home. Tomorrow I'm going to a community walk with my friend and then Sunday Alex is playing in a volleyball tournament. So lots of good stuff on tap and I'll just take you guys along with me. spot with a friend who supports you and energizes you and just like you can be completely yourself with no judgments no nothing like that's what i want to be making time for eyes peeled is so good my favorite there is their like classic drink called georgia on my mind and it's with orange and oat milk and cold brew and it is so good and then i went to the bagel place okay it's like a jewish um, bakery and it's all kosher we spoke to the owner he bought it nine years ago from the original guy who i guess opened it 75 years ago and he came here from Germany after the war. Like that's literally the type of business that I want to support. So I got four onion bagels. These are like more like Bialis. So I'm excited to try them. And then I'm not even going to show you what else I got because I already ate half a cookie. And then I also got a hamantaschen and I ate like a third of that. And I also got a cinnamon raisin roll that they had. I was trying to save that for tomorrow morning because I know it'll be a nice treat. I am running behind now on work. I got home and had to like take care of Violet. We went on a walk. I had to pump all the things. I need to shoot and edit a whole video for my client and turn that in in like an hour. Work is done. I just turned it in. And now it's time to go through these packages and take out recycling. The first thing is from our place. I am obsessed with their always pan. And then I got a few more of these large dinner plates. These are the plates I always use. We've had the bowls, the small plates and the dinner plates for years, but I just got a few more. They sent them over and I'm super grateful because it's just nice to have extra plates. You don't have to do dishes constantly. But the thing I'm like super excited for is the perfect pot. How freaking cute is this? Like I said, we love the always pan. I also just love the way it looks. It's like super functional, of course, but it just like looks nice in the kitchen. And I'm really excited to use this to make like soups, pasta, everything. You know, we cook here constantly. We pretty much cook, I would say 85% of our meals. A few other things. I got this Athena Club mini razor. I love their regular razor. That's what I use, but this one is so cute and travel friendly. And then this is their shave oil. That sounds amazing. And I have to take an everything shower tomorrow. So perfect timing. I also got this primer spray from Bumble and Bumble. This brand is just like a no fail. I used to get my hair cut in Bumble and Bumble when I was in middle school, actually in New York City. Bodily sent over a couple more things for our collaboration for August. I work with them on Instagram and I love this brand for all things prenatal, postpartum. I'm trying the low rise underwear this time. I have the high rise which was great for the bump and post like early days postpartum and then i love this lactation latte i put this in my coffee last thing i just ordered a couple things from amazon so i got this legendary milk supplement i've been taking for months and i do feel like it really does help with milk supply and then we are going to a little neighborhood concert tomorrow and we wanted to get violet these headphones because it gets really loud so oh my gosh i can't stand how cute these are I hope it goes without saying, but I am unbelievably grateful that I get anything in the mail at all. Like definitely pinch me moments every time a package comes and I have been doing social media. Gosh, I've been taking it seriously since 2016, but I've been doing it since way before then too. And sometimes it's hard to 
be constantly online or keep up with algorithms and things like that but it is so rewarding a the community i love i've been loving youtube because it's so nice to connect with a different audience and be on here and just like show up in a real authentic way with you guys and then be to work with brands that i've loved for so long it's like i don't know it's very rewarding and fulfilling and i'm so grateful that this is part of my job at all i'm gonna go grab violet and we're gonna start our evening routine soon For rustic with this shape but I'm very excited to dig in. I use the Miyoko mozzarella and the tomb garlic sauce. Um, that sauce I got at Costco actually. I definitely made my cr crust thinner. Why am I awful at cutting this pizza? I have to say I do like the Trader Joe's crust though. The verdict. So good. I will say the Cheese doesn't necessarily taste like mozzarella, but it also doesn't taste like that or anything. I didn't really use a ton of sauce, so it's mostly just like bread and a little salami, and you know what, I'm here for it. We are running out the door as per usual. We're heading to my friend Rachel's community walk and my neighbor's gonna meet us and we can drive together. So excited, we're going to La Colombe to meet and I'm definitely gonna get my second coffee of the day. I'm in my Halara dress, lived in this one during pregnancy, loving in it now, and then Violet's in her little old navy rainbow bubble romper and we're gonna head out. I'm also gonna just take this with me in the car for a little snack because I didn't get to eat like a ton of breakfast. Um, I have a discount code for these. I will put it in the description. They're amazing because they're a prenatal or postnatal vitamin in a little bar and it's very good. morning oh my gosh I'm so glad we went and Violet was so good she slept like most of it which was really nice and when I came home I was starving we're having a little bit of a carb heavy weekend but I'm here for it I made one of those bagels from Fred's yesterday so so good but, what? didn't give an update actually she has been sleeping in her nursery for one week now and crushing it we are definitely doing so much better I know the last like four vlogs if not more have been all about the like sleep regression and our struggles and everything I feel like we are in a much better place. She's definitely turned a corner. I would say we are not necessarily back to our sleep prior to the four month sleep regression where she was giving me like a really full night. But the last couple nights she's done seven to eight hours of sleep um, between feedings and just cried like a couple times but self-soothed. And if you are nervous about moving your baby into the nursery and out of your room, like let this be your sign to give you back your space. It has felt so good to have our bedroom back and I'm like a little emotional to put away the bassinet because I feel like we just built it and I just cannot believe how quickly time is going. And to make the transition easier, we started doing all of her naps during the day in this nursery. We spend a ton of time in here. This is like the main play area, really the only play area in the house. So she was super comfortable in here and it's, it's honestly been great. So we did have her four month checkup this week too and she is gaining weight but not as much as we want and she dropped quite significantly in percentile so that makes me nervous but the doctor said she wasn't worried so i'm trying not to be worried but easier said than done so yeah that's the baby update but i really feel like gosh i'm in a much better place like mentally than i was literally one week ago we actually have a babysitter coming today at 3 30 i can't remember if i mentioned that or not but i'm really excited to meet her and hopefully all goes well because we definitely need to have someone on call for date nights. We have a wedding at the end of the month, all the things. It's just nice to know that you can have some time to yourself. I know Alex and I desperately need like just a good date night, even if it's brief. I was a nanny actually for eight years. I nannied for like seven different families. It's weird to be on the other side of things because I'm like, oh gosh, what am I going to ask? What am I going to look out for? But I'm very pumped to meet her. And then we are going to the neighborhood concert that I told you guys about yesterday. Bye. 
it is a bit later. We just got back from the concert in our neighborhood and it is just like the best people watching, but it's so wholesome. I swear this neighborhood makes me feel like I live in a movie. It's just so cute. And we're getting to know even more of our neighbors, which is really nice. And meeting the babysitter was great. I love her. She's so sweet, asks great questions. And I don't know, it's so crazy to think that we're gonna have a babysitter and leave this gal with her, but you know, I'm so excited to have a date night and quality time. We need our time too so that we can show up as better parents. So anyway, we're gonna do bath time and V's night routine. And then I think we're just having leftovers for dinner. We were maybe gonna get takeout, but Alex made this amazing gazpacho that I will show you in a bit. Do you love the tub? You love it? You're already outgrowing this tub. You're getting so big, my girl. Wow. You just put it in fancy little bowls of tomatoes. Amazing. Separated out our salads. This is your pizza leftover. This is pretty good for like thrown together dinner. We're gonna go finish watching The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I can't believe I've never seen it before. I will say there were two scenes in the first half that I definitely could have done without. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about but now it's really good. So we're gonna go watch that and then hopefully I can read a little bit more before bed. I keep being so exhausted that I'm not reading more than like two pages, but I just wanna finish my book. another morning where I'm running around. I just made myself a smoothie to guzzle down in five minutes. I have to change Violet and then we're going to see Alex play his volleyball tournament in Manhattan Beach. My friends are having a fitness event that I could make it to, but I'm going to try to stop by for like the after festivities one second. The event looks like it's going to be so cute. Let's get moving. We're going to head to Manhattan Beach. watermelon from Costco. I swear though, if you like watermelon, only get them at Costco. This was probably $6 and it's gonna give us 900 pieces of watermelon. But we had such a nice day. I will say Violet was not on her best behavior at the volleyball tournament. She just was tired and it's my fault. I forgot her pacifier and that's really the only way she can fall asleep on the go. It was nice to watch Alex play. He made the playoffs and then I went to see my friends uh, who own a fitness studio in Redondo Beach called Shine Studio. I used to go all the time in like 2016, 2017 when I worked in Redondo Beach. Um, and they had a little pop-up with Pilates and a sound bath. It looked amazing. I was actually really sad that I missed the class, but there are just so many wonderful things here. I'm very, very grateful because I met some really cool people uh, through events like that. I mean, yeah, yesterday's walk with uh, my friend Rachel, her company is called Recharge Wellness. Hers was free. There's just all kinds of stuff, but Anyway, we got a lot done otherwise. I have a pitch due for a potential new client tomorrow and I actually haven't started that yet. I was trying to do other work before I started that because I'm procrastinating. What's new? Anyways, cutting up this watermelon. I'm gonna go wake Violet and beat her soon. Alex is gonna be home soon. We're gonna go walk the dog and then I'm gonna work on my pitch. Tonight we're getting takeout. I picked us up California Chicken Cafe for dinner because we've been cooking a lot and we deserve takeout. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Alex is watching. What is the show you like? House of Dragons. House of Dragons. So I'm gonna work on the pitch deck that I have been procrastinating on all weekend and then read more of my book and go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again very soon with another vlog. <laughs>